Hello viewers, welcome to Elim TV, which is your station where you get to watch and learn. And I'm your tutor, Mr. Mongi, taking you through a physics lesson form 3. And today we are going to look at, in this lesson, we are going to look at refraction. That is refraction, sorry, bending of light. So stay tuned and do pay attention. So what are the goals of this lesson? By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to do the following. Number one, you'll state Snell's law. Number two, you'll be able to solve problems involving the Snell's law. So what is refraction equation? When light passes from one medium to another, it bends. Yes? So how does this happen? Or what causes this to happen? So the bending of light is what we refer to as refraction and this occurs when light moves from one medium to another. This is caused by what we refer to as a uh, change in velocity because the velocity of light is different in different materials. So we have the angle of incidence and we have the angle of refraction. The angles are taken from the normal at the interface where uh, we have the two medium that is medium one and medium two so for us to get this uh, where we have to, uh, uh, to understand the abbreviation of this that is i in the equal uh, i in the formula stands for the angle of incidence in the first medium r is the angle of refraction in the second medium and n is a constant number called the refractive index and this equation is what we refer to as Snell's law, which basically states that uh, uh, the ratio of the angle of the sine of incidence to the, uh, to the sine of the angle of refraction is equal to a constant. So this experiment will help us understand uh, Snell's law. So we need to set up the equipment as shown in the diagram opposite. And for an initial angle of incidence to be 30 degrees Celsius, we trace the path of light as it moves through the grass block from air and out of the air once again. So we measure the angle of refraction R, which is in the grass block, giving us the bending. So we, we, we are also required to calculate the refractive index using the formula n is equals to si divided by uh, that is sine i divided by sine r so the, when we repeat uh, the angle uh, with different angles of incidence starting from a range of 10 degrees celsius to an angle of 80 degrees celsius we realize that uh, we get an average value of n which is the refractive index so let's see whether we can be able to apply the refractive index again in solving problems. So calculate the refractive index when light passes from air to grass if angle of incidence is 30 degrees Celsius and calculate the angle of refraction given that it's 19. So how do we get to solve this? Remember n is equal to sine i all over sine r. So the angle of incidence is 30 and the angle of refraction is 19. So what we need to get is the sine of 30 degrees divided by the sine of 19 degrees. Therefore, we have 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.326, and this gives us a refractive index of 1.53. Let's get to question two. Calculate the angle of refraction when light passes from air to perspex if the angle of incidence is 50 degrees Celsius. So calculate the refractive index, or that is the angle of re refraction, and we have the refractive index provided to be 1.5. So once again, Snell's law. N is equals to sine i all over sine r. We, uh, we abbreviate, uh, that is we substitute into our formula appropriately, and when we solve this, this gives us an angle of refraction to be 30. 0.7 degrees Celsius. So did we get to understand the concept of this lesson? Calculate the angle of incidence when light passes from air to water if the angle of refraction is 20 degrees uh, uh, and we are provided the refractive index to be 1.33. We can refer this to secondary physics students book 3 or give us a text through the numbers on your screen 
or visit us in our YouTube channel or Facebook page at Elimu TV or do give us a tweet at Elimu TV underscore KE. Once again, Mr. Mwangi, uh, stay tuned to Elimu TV. Thank you.